Hello, my name is Kyle Jarris, and I'm the Education Director at the Academy of Model Aeronautics. I'm glad you found this quick project, and I know you're going to have a great time and learn a lot. Without further ado, enjoy this quick project. Hello, everybody. My name is Kyle. I'm an Education Specialist at the AMA, and I'm here with you to do another edition, another special holiday edition of one of our quick projects. If you remember last month, we made a paper airplane in the shape of a bat. And this time I've got something for you that is a little bit more Thanksgiving themed. So we've got a couple different versions of this gobbler glider that we've put together here. If you go to the Quick Projects website to get the template for this, you'll see that you can print it off in a couple different versions. There's a version with the cool turkey decorations, and then there's a version that just has the dotted lines and the numbers that you need to follow along with the instructions if you want to try that out first. But I am going to get started here with the version with the decorations. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do, since this will print off on a regular size sheet of paper, the first thing we need to do is cut off this bottom rectangle here. And there's a line that you can cut across there that you can see pretty clearly because just like the bat we made last month, this is folded out of a square of paper, not a regular sized printer sheet of paper. So you wanna cut that off. And once you've done that, now you've got a neat little Thanksgiving themed bookmark or some other kind of a uh, little banner that you can use for whatever you would like to do. But now we've got our square sheet of paper here and we can get started with actually folding the gobbler glider that we've got here. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is fold corner to corner, just straight diagonally across the square. And it doesn't necessarily matter which corner to corner right now because we are going to unfold that crease and we are gonna do the same thing with the other corners. We just want that X shape going from all four corners. All right, so make sure you get those creases nice and sharp. All right, and now we're gonna take our paper and we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna fold it in half vertically and horizontally. So around this time, those of you who, uh, who worked on the, the Halloween quick project with our paper bat, this should be pretty familiar. A lot of it starts very similarly. All right. All right, so now that we've folded it in half diagonally and horizontally and vertically, we're gonna keep the pattern down and then we are gonna take two of these opposite corners and we're gonna collapse the paper together. Now there are a couple ways you can do that because the square is, is symmetrical, but ultimately you wanna have, if you're folding it with the pattern, you want it to look like this. We have a little turkey printed right there on the, on the template and you wanna be able to see it. All right, so that's what we're working with. All right, so once we've done that, you're gonna take the two lower edges of this paper, of this square, and you're gonna fold them up until they meet the center line of the square. And if you're following along using the template with the pattern on it, that should make it really easy to see what I'm doing because you can see the colors and you can see the design a lot, a lot better. All right, so you have this little kite shape here and then we're gonna take the top corner right here and fold that down so we have a neat little triangle shape right here. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unfold the three things that we just did. So we're gonna have those three creases there except for this, the top corner. We're gonna have that stay down. We're gonna flip out the two sides. All right, like this, now we're gonna take this corner here that we folded down and we're gonna fold it back up so that it touches the crease that we just made. You can see that. All right, and then 
We're gonna raise it up like that so that we have our flat diamond again. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. You can probably tell already that this is gonna involve some, some complicated folding. And this is the first time that we've actually gotta do something that might take you a little bit of extra effort. Um, so you might wanna ask a parent for help with this or somebody who has uh, very, very good control of their fingers because this is where it gets a little, little challenging. All right, so be patient with it and try your best. All right, so this, this uh, crease right here, that we, the one that we just made, it may help to fold it the other way or fold it both ways, kind of work it back and forth a little bit because what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna take this top corner and we are going to sink it down inside this diamond. This diamond is made up of uh, several layers of paper now, about four layers, and we want this corner to sink down into the middle of those layers and kind of collapse inside the whole diamond that we've made. All right, so that can be a little bit difficult to, to do without, uh, without completely unfolding the paper. But um, that, that's what I've always done when, I've make, when I make these, is I'll kind of take a hold of the sides here and pull it apart just enough that I can push that corner down And if I've made all my creases, it should be able to collapse right back down to the way I had it. Except now that top corner has been sunk into the paper diamond. All right, so you can see that. You can kind of see how that looks, that it's stuff down inside of there, all right? Now that may take you a little bit of working with it and if you don't wanna open it up all the way and push the paper down in that way, you might, have to, you might have to fiddle with it and find out what works for you, but this is what we wanna get. We wanna have that corner down inside, all right? And once we've done that, this crease that we made earlier, we're gonna just fold that right back down. We've got kind of a, kind of a shield shape here, all right? So that's what we want, all right? And then we're gonna take this corner here where we have multiple layers of paper, like I was talking about, we're gonna take the top layer, and this is another fold that might be a little bit tricky and you might need to, might need to work with it a little bit, is you're gonna take that top layer and you're gonna flip it up and you're gonna fold it over so that these layers collapse down into a very narrow diamond shape. All right, so this is what we've got. All right, so the good news is the hard steps are over and from here on out, it's pretty smooth sailing. So once you've got this narrow diamond shape, what you wanna do is you wanna take those two, the two halves of the narrow diamond and fold them together and then flip it over, take the two sides of this slightly uh, wider diamond and fold them together. And now you've got a shape that looks like this. All right, now once you've got this shape, you're gonna take this edge of the paper and you're gonna fold it down to meet that edge. And you're gonna flip the paper over and do the same thing on the other side. All right. And now we're gonna rotate it so that it's facing this way right here. This is what we want it to look like, all right? So this right here, down here, is actually going to be the wing tip. So what we wanna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna fold it up. Usually on paper airplanes you fold the wings down, but on this design you gotta fold it up. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, and now we've got this shape here. Now this down here is going to be the turkey's tail. Now this step is not really difficult, but it might take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of working at it also. What you wanna do is you wanna take this corner here 
and you're gonna fold it inside. And there is a, there's a dotted line marked out here on the template that'll help you. But you wanna fold it inside and you wanna crease along the, that line. And this is going to be the turkey's tail feathers. All right, so there we go. And now what you wanna do is you can see that there are some lines marked out on the template and some different colors on the template. And that's what we're gonna to use to uh, fold the turkey's head. All right, so we're gonna take right here, this, this uh, narrow triangle here, right along where that line is. And we're gonna fold this down And that's going to form our turkey's head. And that's going to be folded inside that narrow triangle. It kind of collapsed inside there. And then we're going to do the same thing a bit further down the triangle to make the turkey's beak. All right, you can see there that I've got kind of a little turkey head there. And now that we've done that, we can kind of open it back up. And you can see that we've got our turkey shape. Now, um, one thing that you can do, it does fly pretty good. I, it might be hard to believe that this thing can fly, but it actually flies pretty well. Um, but one thing you can do that might make it fly a little bit better is there are also a couple dotted lines along the wing tips that you can use to create some winglets or some wing feathers here on the tip. And that might help make it just a little bit more stable and also look a little bit more turkey-like. Because turkeys are hardly graceful creatures, really. All right, so you can kind of see what I did there. That it has the pleated wingtips now. And with that, we've got our completed gobbler glider. So this is what you can use um, to help celebrate Thanksgiving this year just like the uh, paper bat from last month helped with Halloween. Now, like I said, this thing actually flies pretty well. You wanna hold it right underneath here because uh, you'll have created this little, uh, these little triangles underneath that you can hold on to. And all you gotta do is toss it forward just like you would a normal paper airplane. Hey guys, I hope you had a great time with that quick project. We have a ton more content available, so be sure to check out the website, amaflightschool.org and modelaircraft.org both of which have a plethora of resources. Until next time, we'll see y'all later. Keep flying.